We have learned a candidate for King County Sheriff wrongfully claimed in her voter's guide statement that she had secured the endorsement of sitting Congressman and former King County Sheriff Dave Reichert. King 5's Alex Rozier broke this story on Twitter today. He joins us now. Um, Alex, how did this happen in the first place? Well, Mark, voter's guide statements were due August the 4th. And in Sheriff candidate Mitzi Johanknick's original statement, she said this, quote, I have been endorsed by leaders from both political parties as well as the 31st, 40 3rd and 48th District Democrats, the National Women's Political Caucus, and Congress member and former Sheriff Dave Reichert. And quote, Joe Hanknecht went on to say this, I am a leader worthy of your trust, and I would be grateful for your vote. But as it turns out, she never secured Congressman Reichert's endorsement. More than two weeks after voters' kind statements were due, the Congressman's office and the candidate's campaign contacted King County Elections and said, she does not have the endorsement. Mitzi told us she thought she secured it, but now she says she was wrong. Despite the change being made after the deadline for candidate statements, the listed endorsement will not be published in the voter's guide. As for Congressman Reichert, his office tells us he has not endorsed anyone yet in the race for King County Sheriff. But one other point that's important to bring out as we get closer to Election Day, some of you may not realize that King County elections does not fact check the information candidates submit for the voter's guide. King County Elections told me this morning when they receive a statement from a candidate, they look it over for slander and libel and also to ensure that there are no offensive remarks. They also check to make sure that they've copied the candidate's statement word for word. But Mark, as they told me, we have nearly 500 candidates running for elected positions in November in King County. They said that there's no way they can possibly fact check every single endorsement by a candidate. They called this erroneous endorsement from Congress, Congressman Dave Reichert, quote, very unusual.